And my name is Tony Campbell. I'm a pharmacist. I've been compounding for about 20 years. Uh, in my particular talk, we're going to be talking about um, the, the human use of peptides and how they differ from those that are uh, labeled as research only or for investigational use. We're going to be talking about some potential issues with these peptides that are widely available over the internet to anybody who has a computer and a and a mouse who just wants to click on it. And uh, there's certainly some potential dangers in that. And we want to discuss what those dangers can be. And then more importantly, talk about how peptides are prepared in a compounding pharmacy and the requirements that are put into that. So we're going to be talking about uh, the quality control in a pharmacy compounding uh, setting, uh, some 503A and 503B differences, some regulations and necessities for those. Um, and then some regular uh, the requirements and the challenges in preparing peptides. Uh, certainly, um, there's a lot involved in the chemicals. I want to be sure that you're up to date with how, how these are prepared for you when you're uh, using them uh, for your patients. And more specifically, just how uh, compounded peptides differ from those that are widely available. So it'll be very interesting and I look forward to seeing you there.